This is the original panel that we used on all our laser machines at am.co.za. Over the years, we have developed a new version, which I'm going to show you right now. Now, over the years, we did develop a newer system, which is able to do more. And obviously, cost-wise, it did go up. Now, what if you wanted something in between, which is more cost-effective, but still does the same job? Now, I'm going to show you the new mid-range laser machine interface, which we have made. Come along. Now this is the new TrueCut Express interface. Now the TrueCut Express does cut exactly the same as the RD Works interface. Only difference is it has less features, but the advantage is it is way more cost effective than the RD Works interface. The TrueCut Express comes with its own software called Laser CEO. They do work hand in hand together with the interface. Let me show you how. All right, now, you have your screen here and you have the basic side movement in the x-axis and then you have forward and backwards movement in the y-axis. The focus button works also to set a default Z height on any material you're about to start. Let me show you how that works. All right. So if I press the focus button, it's going to touch the material and it's going to set the height of the Z to the required height that I would have set on the software. Right, I have my option to move my Z axis down and up on this button as well. Next thing I have is the reset button. The reset button simply does the same job as restarting my machine as it takes it back to the origin point of the machine. The laser button fires a pulse for every time that I am aligning my laser. That's what I use it for. And then the stop button is to stop any job that would be running. The start job is to start a job that would be running. And as it goes, the pause button would be to pause any job if I want to continue it later. Now, origin allows me to be able to set the origin for any job that I want to do. And preview, of course, allows me to do a preview to see the outline in which my job is going to be done. The release button is a button that has no functions on this machine, but in later machines will be used. Now, this is the menu button. The menu button allows us to set the output power. Now, if we have 90% here, and say we have a 100 watt tube at the back, that means we have 90 watts from that 100 watt tube. If we have less, then that simply means we are taking this percentage of whatever tube we have at the back. Now the software, Laser CEO, and the CEO means it can cut, it can engrave, and the O is for rotary operation. Now it comes with the same standard features as RD Works, but also the advantages, you also have the extra advantages of Lightburn as it is a bit of in between the two softwares. We are constantly developing this software weekly and updates come and you will get this update free for the lifetime of the machine. And it even includes a feature where you can 3D engrave. Unlike the RD works, which you could only set one power level, on this one, you can set different levels of power so you can do 3D engraving. So if you're not in the market for the RD works machine, the TrueCut one is a very good alternative and also is very cost effective. Thank you for watching our video. Now for more videos like this, simply go to YouTube and type am.co.za. You're gonna see our channel, Achievement Matters, or you can simply type it on Google, am.coza, for daily updates and more on our machines. Thank you.